All right, good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to work on the put on your thinking cap challenging practice. Write the missing number in the pattern. 5,623, 6,622, 7,621. Kind of hard to see a pattern that way, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's try this. It's a little different, but let's try this. Look at the tens column in each of those. So that's a two. I think that's going to be a two this time. See, there's a six in each one of those. Again, I think let's try the six there, okay? And now let's just look at the ones column. Three, two, one, zero, five, six, seven, eight. Just kind of had to look at it a little bit differently, right? That's kind of tricky. Complete each number pattern. So here, 5,621, 5,741, 5,861. So let's see. Oh, the ones column stays the same. Um, let's look at the thousands. Five, five, five. That might stay the same. Six. Seven, let's look at the hundreds to column. Six, seven, eight. And that's going to be a nine. Yeah, that's counting by a hundred. Now let's look at the tens column. Two, four, six, eight. Very good. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's see. Again, I see all the ones in the ones column. I see 6,000, 5,000, 3,000. 4,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, okay. We have 800, 800, 800. I think there's an 8 in the hundreds there, yep. And now let's look at the tens column. 7, 6, something, 4. 7, 6, 5, 4. Yeah. Okay, now let's look at this one. So 2,828, 2,818, 2,808. Um, I'm going to look here at the ones column, and I think that's going to be an eight. A two in the thousands column. And now when I look at just these two numbers, 82, 81, 80. Yeah, did you get it? 79, right. Very good. All right, I am a three-digit number. The digit in my tens and ones place is the same. Okay, so here's my hundreds, my tens, and my ones. These two, oh, I got to get down there, right? These two have to be equal. They're going to be the same exact number. Um, the digit in my hundreds place is four more than the digit in my tens and ones place. So whatever digit that is, this digit is going to be a plus four. Okay, so for example, what if I put a 1 here? What would go here? A 1. What would go here? Well, 1 plus 4 is 5, right? So 511 should work. Now, what if we put a 2 here? There has to be a 2 here. 2 plus 4 is 6. So we could have 622. Good. Now, are you kind of seeing the pattern on that? We could do a 3. This has to be a 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. So 733. We could do a couple former students out there. We could do 844. We could do 955. And there's one more up on this end. If we put zeros there, we could do 400. So I have quite a few different answers available for that one. All right, here we are, the last page. Put on your thinking cap, problem solving. This time, I am a four-digit number. So we got that clue done. Let's go down to the next one. The digit eight is in the hundreds place. So let's see, we have thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. Thousands, hundreds, tens, 
ones. The digit eight is in the hundreds place. So this here is the hundreds place. So we have an eight here. Okay, check. The digit in the thousands place is greater than the digit in the hundreds place. Okay, so in the thousands place, it has to be bigger than an eight. There's only one digit that is bigger than an eight. And that is the digit nine. Very good. Now, 10, someone said 10. 10 is two digits, so the one and a zero. So really, it has to be only a nine, because it's only a four-digit number, remember? The digit in the ones place is the smallest possible digit. So right away, we're thinking one, right? Pew. Ah, is zero a digit? Is zero smaller than one? Yeah. Zero, my hero. And the digit in the tens place is three less than six. So if we start at six and count backwards three, we get three. Very good. So what number am I? 9,830. Awesome work, boys and girls. All right. See you 